In this video, I'm going to create a, a very simple circuit to create audio output from a Raspberry Pi Pico. And this uses PWM, or pulse width modulation. So to start off with, I went to raspberrypi.org and I found the hardware design guide for the Pico. And there they have an audio circuit. Now in their circuit, um, which is actually nice and simple, um, they have a line driver, uh, which is a buffer, and that's to create a, a clean 3.3 volt supply. We're not going to do that. We're going to do something slightly simpler. We're just going to leave out that buffer and power it from the Pico itself. First of all, I'm going to uh, draw a quick schematic of the circuit that I'm going to use. So it's essentially the same as one of the audio lines. So we're not doing stereo. We're going to do mono uh, signal, and um, we're going to uh, leave out that buffer circuit. Um, so luckily, um, I had all the components I needed uh, to build this in my basement, so I don't have to build resistors like I had to last time with the VGA video. And uh, putting it together is really simple, and it's just three resistors and two capacitors, and it'll fit on um, one of these little, little breadboards, no problem. And this is what it sounds like. This is the code that runs the um, PWM audio. Um, what I liked about this and um, the the idea behind this is actually borrowed from Ch Greg Chadwick's uh, blog uh, on, on PWM audio, which I'll link in the description. Um, what's nice is how simple the code is and how it works. So essentially what happens is we set up an interrupt which occurs at a regular frequency, the frequency being higher than the audio sampling rate. And then this function, this PWM interrupt handler is called every time uh, that in interrupt fires. And this gives us the, uh, the opportunity to set uh, the GPIO level for the next stage in the, the, the WAV file data. So one thing here is the frequency of the interrupt is higher, much higher than uh, the, the sampling rate uh, of the audio. So here you see this uh, sh uh, left shifting and right shifting by three is basically um, multiplying and dividing by eight. So what happens is we actually um, send the same value to the PWM pin uh, eight times in a row. Um, and that gets us to the right output sampling rate for the audio. Uh, going down uh, in the main function, um, I'm essentially overclocking uh, the Pico. So they usually run at 125 or 133 megahertz. Um, I'm overclocking this one to 176 megahertz. And that just makes some of the, the dividing into the audio sampling frequency slightly easier or more convenient. Um, so uh, most of this code is just setting up the, um, the interrupt. Uh, you can see here we set the handler uh, for the interrupt and um, down here we set the frequency. So uh, there's a clock divider and then there's also a wrap and both of these have an impact on the frequency that the interrupt is called. Um, and what you can see here, I've actually put in the audio, audio sampling frequencies for uh, which value of the clock divider. So if you've got a 44 kilohertz sample, which is a pretty common um, audio format um, uh, frequency, then you need the clock divider to be eight. Um, I'm actually using 11 kilohertz samples in, in, in this, and I also have a Python program that will take in any uh, WAV file and convert it to whichever sampling frequency you like. Now, so where does the data come from? So um, if we go up here, um, um, I have an include file here, which is uh, robinsample.h. And basically this is a, uh, a WAV file that has been turned into a static array uh, in the header file. So you can see it's a big, long set of numbers. And this is basically the WAV data encoded into array. And you've also got the length of the data here. This is the Python code um, that I told you about that will load in a WAV file and convert it into one of those uh, header file formats. So it's pretty simple. Um, it uses a, a Python library called sound file, another one called sample rate. So uh, it loads the sound file, draws a little graph there. You can see uh, the, the audio sample. 
It then uh, adjusts the sample rate. So uh, you can change this value here, this, uh, this 11,000. Um, 11, That's a, an 11 kilohertz uh, sample rate. Um, it'll take whatever sample you give it and it'll resample it to the whatever kilohertz rate you want. Um, and then um, it, this is doing some kind of measurement, figuring out the length and the maximum minimum values. And then in this function here, which I'll just run, it actually generates an, uh, uh, that, that output header file. So it goes through each value um, in the sample and it scales it between 0 and 2. 255, so um, every value is um, an unsigned integer, an 8-bit unsigned integer, and then the output is easy down here. So this is, basically you can copy and paste that into your C code or into a header file and then you're, you're good to go. So here's a couple more uh, clips of audio that's generated with this circuit. Cool. That's cool. That's cool.